So this patient's coming in for removal of a fairly stable lesion that's been on the upper right aspect of his sort of shoulder chest for probably over a decade now. Um, just be aware of anatomical structures. There's an anterior triangle and a posterior triangle of the neck. The posterior triangle kind of ends through here. It's sort of bound by the sternocleidomastoid, the trapezius, and the clavicle. This is off the side of it, but you should be aware of structures just because there's a lot of vascular structures in through here. This area is less, less uh, susceptible to that type of irritation, but we certainly want to make sure what we're dealing with. Um, we want to be treading lightly with this. So this has been frozen. You see a circumferential block through here, some with lidocaine, and there's been one put over top of the actual incision area. So again, no pain here when I do that? Doesn't hurt? No. No. Okay. So for this, we use a number 15 blade. I'm just going to progress a little bit slower than I normally would. And that's mainly because of where we're at. So this is certainly acting like a lipoma. Um, this is what I'd expect. He's had a history of lipomas. But whereas with this is his chest is abdomen, I'd incise a little bit more aggressively. This is one I'll just take a little bit slower. And this area is tricky from a couple of perspectives. One, I've already explained to the patient, anesthetic-wise, this is there's an overlapping of tissues here, kind of like a dead space that's created. And you can sometimes have peripheral nerves that are that go missing. So you want to make sure you have a or that go miss from the standpoint of your blocks. So you want to make sure you're being thorough with that. But also you can see here, there's a lot of redundant tissue here. That doesn't hurt at all, does it? No. So this just makes it, it's a little, the skin's a bit tougher here. So it looks like I struggle. These are always, whenever we do any procedure, these blades are disposable, so they're always brand new. But sometimes it'll look like it's not cutting well. And that's just more a function of the tissue type in the individual than anything else. See right through here, you can see it's tugging a little bit. No pain there. A bit. Yeah. That sting? No. How about that? No. Just have that for me. Does that hurt a little bit? Mm. No. Just draw me a little bit more. So this one, mm -hmm. I'm adding some extra. I actually want it to sting a bit because I'm looking for a nerve ending that's not been hit with the, uh, the block. So when he's not feeling it as much, I, I certainly want to add a little bit more in. So sometimes that can be a timing factor as well. So all I'm going to do is this corner here that was sensitive, I'm going to leave that alone for a little bit. Doesn't hurt when I do that? No. No pain there. No. So I can feel here where there's adhesions. Now we're back on this side, just out of for me. So I'm just going to go a little bit gently here. Does that hurt when I do that? No.
don't know if you can hear that on the video, but you can actually hear the adhesions breaking down. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Does it hurt like that? No. I can feel adhesions along the back side of it. I have to extend that a bit. No pain when I do that? No, just a little bit of pressure. You should feel just pressure. Is that all you're feeling? Yes. Okay. Not pain yet. You can see here it's curving. Just out that for a minute. This is curving. See how that's curving back around? This is a little bit on the back side of it. Tender there? Mm -hmm. There. Just pull that cap off mm -hmm. for a minute. Does that sting? No. A little bit. A little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Just if you watch if you've never had anesthetic, the lo local anesthetic stings, mm -hmm. so it's not a pleasant feeling for the patient, so good. Just draw up a little bit more, Rada. Mm -hmm. It's a deep one. <laughs> so this can certainly be frustrating watching this procedure, but really like anything else, as long as you progress just slowly, no pain when I do that. No. Not too bad there. No. So this is where he's a little bit uncomfortable for. I want to be a little careful. The back end is always where because of the depth portion. If you're going to have some freeing that's lacking, that's where you're going to feel it. Just trying to see where this is going to release just a little bit. Looks like not quite yet. So this is what I'm hoping to get to, so I'm a little bit behind it. Just add that, please. So then we can break down these adhesions here that are sort of tacking it down. Not hurting? No.
I'll just grab the hypercator at it. Mm -hmm. So this is just where there's the adhesion to the back of this. Just, just dab it for me, please. Not hurting too much? This is quite a firm lipoma. that really quite firm solid as those things go wow. we'll show it to you afterwards it feels like I'm missing with half a neck <laughs> well it's a good size it's adhering to the underlying tissues as you said it's gonna be deep inside hurting? No. So this is again all back end, so I just want to be a little bit careful. I certainly want to reduce the little bit of bleeding that's there, but we don't want to make it too uncomfortable for him. And even though this is a lipoma, is there a, do you have a syringe right him? Sure. Just from a cleanliness perspective, I'll, I'll syringe this out. You okay? Yeah, no more. Yeah. Now, if I was worried about infection, if this was a uh, cyst, this is where, at this point, where I would take a culture, but I'm not worried from that perspective. So this is an area where I don't think there's going to be a lot of tension on this. So the issue becomes, do we need to add internal stitches, dermal stitches? Main reason for those is strength. And then there can be some arguments for hemostasis. But. but this shouldn't have a lot of pressure on it because we took out a mass lesion and we didn't do an elliptical incision. You're feeling okay? Yes. It's frozen all down, all the way down to shoulder. Okay. <laughs> so you can see here we just had bruising. This is from that's just from the the uh, initial freezing that we did. But typically in med schools, I'll teach to go right across a lesion in areas where I think there's too much. If I worry about whether there is tension or not. And this is where I'll do this instead. I'll go one side to the other. Okay. 
And here again, if I was putting the stitches in, I felt like there was a lot of tension across them. Then you could always elect to take those out and then put in a couple of dermal stitches. Again, here where I've caught my tail and the other stitch material, you can just come in afterwards and take that out with the scissors. It's not complicated. I'd always do that at the end. Don't panic if it's happening. It's not a big deal. You can easily rectify it. And then she's going to clean that up and put a dressing on him. And then we'll see him back in 10 days.